Seeing as there were a second round of SMGs added to the game, I've added this video to direct all my other videos missing the SMG information to. In the video, I will be talking about all six SMGs, but as this video is designed that each faction will be directed to their own section, if you watch the whole thing, there will be a lot of stuff repeated. I will put the play points in the description below so you can jump to the faction's SMGs that you're after, save you some time. Now I know a lot of people got burned by the way Sony introduced SMGs to Planetside, releasing one, then releasing a completely superior one a week or two later. So now be warned, wait a few weeks after they introduce new weapons and weapon types to see if they do it again, and just try and save yourself from being burned. I'm going to talk about both SMGs right off the bat here. The Blitz GD-10 bullets do 25% less damage than the Cyclones, but it does shoot 25% faster, so it's more forgiving for misses. On top of that, it has a larger magazine and ammo pool, to the point of where the Blitz magazine has little over 6,000 damage per mag, to the Cyclone's tiny 4,000 per mag. You can equip the extended magazines to the Cyclone, which brings the total damage per mag up to 5,800, but you have to sacrifice the advanced laser dot, which is a crazy trade-off, what I think anyway. Now let's look at the recoil and cone of fire, which is the final nail in the Cyclone's coffin, unless it gets a buff at some point. The Blitz has a smaller recoil and first shot multiplier. The recoil only pulls to the right, whereas the Cyclone has an equal pull left and right, which makes it more unpredictable. And lastly, the Blitz has a less cone of fire bloom per shot than the Cyclone does. Glasswise, on an Infiltrator, these guns also retire the automatic scout rifles from the game and make the Infiltrator a deadly close combat weapon on the battlefield. For the heavy assaults, you're still going to want your LMGs as they're more versatile to different encounters, but the SMGs would be a good close combat weapon to replace the shotguns. When you compare to the carbines and assault rifles, the SMGs fit nicely in the middle with them, but because they get used by all classes except the Maxes of course, I'm sure a lot of medics, engineers and light assaults are going to be picking these up. Compared to the differences between the NC SMGs, the TRs are almost non-existent. Don't get me wrong, the Hailstorm is still the best of them. Before you look at the differences, let's have a look at the similarities. They're pretty much the same reload speeds, have exactly the same bullet damage, first shot multiplier, cone of fire, cone of fire bloom and the same certs apart from the armistice can get extended max but equipping them over the advanced laser dot is crazy. The differences are the ammo pools, the hailstorm gets 60 shots over the armistice is 30 which gives the hailstorm double the damage per mag of the armistice. Also the hailstorm has a tiny bit more recoil but you wouldn't notice, also shoots a tiny bit slower, another thing you also wouldn't notice. Other than that they're pretty much the same but the hailstorm wins out just because of the magazine size, you just reload less saves you so much time. Class wise, on an infiltrator these guns also retire the automatic scout rifles from the game and make the infiltrator a deadly close combat weapon on the battlefield. For the heavy assaults you're still going to want your LMGs as they're more versatile to different encounters but the SMGs would be a good close combat weapon to replace the shotguns. When you compare to the carbines and assault rifles the SMGs fit nicely in the middle with them but because they get used by all classes except the Maxes of course I'm sure a lot of medics, engineers and light assaults are going to be picking these up. The Iridani hits harder than the Cirrus but shoots slower so the damage per second is the same. The Cone of Fire stats are the same across the board. The Cirrus has less recoil, larger magazine and ammo pool. However, the weapon sway is equal left and right on the Cirrus so it's more unpredictable compared to the Iridani which only pulls to the right. The Iridani can equip extended magazines which the Cirrus cannot to bring its magazine size up to 35 but you have to sacrifice the advanced laser dot which to me is a crazy trade off. Unfortunately Sony have burned a lot of people in the way they have released the SMGs bringing them out one at a time saving the best or last. We'll just have to remember that for the next set of weapons they release. Class wise on an infiltrator, these guns also retire the automatic scout rifles from the game and make the infiltrator a deadly close combat weapon on the battlefield. For the heavy assaults, you're still going to want your LMGs as they're more versatile to different encounters, but the SMGs would be a good close combat weapon to replace the shotguns. When you compare to the carbines and assault rifles, the SMGs fit nicely in the middle with them, but because they get used by all classes except the Maxes of course, I'm sure a lot of medics, engineers and light assaults are going to be picking these up.